Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a mod review or a tutorial guide on the land clearing mod by BC Bueller. Um, this is 1.66 megabytes to download for all platforms. Uh, came out just today as I'm recording this video. Very cool pack. Um, there are essentially two things in this pack. Uh, if we go into the land clearing pack, there is these, this option here, the fire, which we'll talk about that in a bit. And then we also have this here, the quick claw, which has a couple of really cool functions to it. So um, this guy will hook up to, well, it, I guess it doesn't show in the customizations there, but what it will hook up to in the Platinum DLC is if we go to Forestry Machines, um, it'll hook up to these guys right here. Um, it should also work with a lot of, according to BC Bueller, it should also work with a lot of modded uh, excavators and such like that, uh, but it definitely works with these two here. So the one we're gonna use today is this guy. Make sure you change it from Grapple to Fast Coupler, that way it can hook up there. Um, so other than that, it'll be good to go. So that's what we have out here. We bought that, uh, we have the Quick Connect already hooked up on here. Um, again, it just hooks up hitting Q, and then we have a couple of, of the fires over here, which we'll talk about here in a bit. And you can lift these without super strength, move them around, no big deal. Um, so let's talk about some of the functions here. This isn't going to be a super long video. I just want to talk about some of the functions of this. Now, again, as this would suggest, it's a land clearing pack that's used to clear land. So as you know, on the Platinum expansion, turn the lights on so you can see, you have these rocks right here, which you can see this one right here that's in the ground um, that you'd want to clear. The bucket does not clear those. I repeat, does not clear those. So um, what you can do, you can take your... Uh, little impact hammer if I can find it in here real quick like um, actually probably well yeah this anyhow there's an impact hammer I'm gonna dig through the store looking for it um, that you can break those rocks down if you don't know how to do that you have a video out on that um, I'll throw a card up on the screen um, right now if I remember to do so uh, but what you can do if we open up our help menu over there it says turn on the quick claw functions we're not gonna hit that we're gonna leave it off so when it's in this off state right here um, we can come down here and we can use it if I can actually use it correctly we can use it as a regular like loader bucket, just like that. And I can pick stuff up. So I just picked up some of the rocks. Um, you can either do um, a, if we go back into here real quick, you can either do a realistic um, capacity of 2,500 liters or an unrealistic of 5,000. So you can have a couple options. I'm using the realistic one here. Um, and then we of course can dump that out wherever we'd like to, um, just on the ground over there, boom, dumped it out. It won't remove those rocks there. Now there's quite a few cool functions to this as well. And one of the main functions starting off um, that I wanna talk about is just the ability to kind of clear land and do that sort of thing. Obviously as it's the land clearing pack, so you can clear these bushes and stuff like that if you wanna role play land clearing. So if I uh, if I actually do that real quick, um, what we wanna do now, if I help open that help menu up is we wanna hit B to turn it on. So now if I have it on now, when I touch the ground, it's gonna clear all those bushes, everything that's on there out of the way um, it'll even do it if you go forward if you want to. Um, but yeah, it's going to clear all that way and it makes a little field there like it would um, normally and stuff like that. So that's another advantage to what this thing does. Um, it's kind of an all-in-one tool, which is pretty cool. So there we go. Just like that, it took all those guys out. No big deal. Now, the other advantage it has is this thing actually can knock trees down. Um, it can be a little finicky sometimes, so just be aware of that. But if I have it and it's on state and I want to knock this little tree down right here, well, I can kind of do my thing, swing into it here might have to go a little bit from the front of it, but it should theoretically now. It's of course not going to work because I'm recording, even though I've tested this and it's been, there it goes. There we go. So we took, we took the tree out. It's actually destroying it now like it just did there. So you don't have to destroy the tree if you're able to get out of the way fast enough, but it will destroy trees. Um, however, if you come up to a bigger tree, like this guy right here is a great example. And I knock into this, I try to pull it in this. Um, I don't think it's going to take this guy down. It doesn't seem to want to do large trees, which makes kind of sense. This is just an excavator. So that would be a lot of work for an excavator to take a large tree like that down. Um, so it may not work for taking that tree down. However, um, it does work really well for taking small meat. Like this tree right here in front of us, actually, it shouldn't have any issues taking this tree down, uh, quite honestly. If I just uh, come in here a little bit. Yeah, see, it already knocked it over, just like that. That tree just got knocked over, no big deal. Now, the other advantage to this as well is I can remove stumps. So if I come over here, I can remove this, if I get actually the other side of it a little bit more there, I can come back and I can remove this stump. If I lower this all the way down to the ground, and there we go, that stump is gone. No big deal. Now, this big tree over here that we couldn't cut down before, if I did cut it down, if I just do this to cut this down real quick, just like that, if I do have it cut down or have trees cut down and I clear them out or whatever I do with them, that was a redwood, sorry, redwood. Um, and then I turn this guy back on, make sure it's on. I can still delete these stumps with this guy here. That's the other advantage of this, I think, personally. It's because, yes, I can come down here and then 
I should be able to delete this stuff if I can actually get a good angle. There we go. Yep, just like that. I can bring it actually towards the stump. There we go. Deleted that stump just like that. And if you really want to, you can actually, a lot of times you can delete these trees a little bit at a time. Yeah, see, I'm cutting it up. And cut it up with that and do that sort of thing and take care of it that way. Um, so that is one way that you can do that um, and take care of the trees. But that's pretty much everything that this quick claw bucket will do for us, uh, which is honestly great. That's awesome. We haven't had something like that before, uh, and it works great. Now, the next advantage is these guys here, which are the fire. So you'd think, um, well, I can burn trees down, I can burn trees up and stuff like that. What this does is it burns branches, trees, that sort of garbage that's already been cut. So like if I take this over here next to this tree, it's not going to burn this tree down. Now, first off, open the help menu. Um, I can get into this here. Um, so enter vehicle. And then right there, you'll see a fire start to form. And then up in the upper left-hand corner, you see still have to turn the fire on. So I hit B to turn the fire on. We're good to go. Well, now I hopped out and it's still over here, but it hopped me out. Let me actually do this real quick in our settings is what I recommend doing as well for you guys is turn automatic engine start off. So if I get in here, there we go. And then if I open my help menu, hit enter to start the engine, B to turn the fire on. And then if I hop out, it'll still be running in the background there, just doing its thing. So even if you wanted to role play like a fire and stuff like that, this is a pretty cool uh, mod right here. And I should be able to get in it back again, turn the fire off, boom, just like that. But as you saw, um, I still have it right here. Where did it go? Here, here it is. I still have it right here. It didn't destroy anything. These trees are still up. What it's really designed to do is to take out trees like this guy right here. It should work just fine on. Um, if I uh, enter here, turn it on, hit B, boom, destroyed that tree, got rid of it for us. Um, that's basically how it works. So if I turn it off, um, there we go, hop out. That's how that's going to work for you. It's going to destroy things in the ground. So if you have a bunch of little little trees around, you want to get rid of like, uh, oh goodness, that thing needs some work there. But if we, where is that tree that fell down that I knocked down? This guy over here, we can get rid of this one, no problem. Here we go. No big deal. Start a fire. Good for kind of role play aspects as well. I think it's a really cool uh, function. But uh, there you guys go. I just wanted to give a quick video on how to use the land clearing pack by BC Builder. I think it's a fantastic mod um, that you guys will probably want to use. And honestly, I'm probably going to end up using it for different role play and stuff like that. I mean, you could also set this up next to if you wanted to role play a house fire. Oh, I didn't maybe want to do that. And hop out. My house is on fire. There you go. Look at that. So you have all sorts of role play ideas here with this that you could use. Um, if you wanted to. But there you guys go. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.